Well, I turned 65, as some of you know, uh, in March, and realized I have less time ahead of me than behind me. And as I became mindful around my 65th birthday about time, I began to question what is this inherited Western idea of time that has shaped and framed our mindset and our beliefs and our relationship with time and should we question that? Is that okay? Because what I've come to realize is that it's not that we have more or less time left. It's not that time's running out or I don't have enough time to do this or that. These phrases, these ideas are rooted in our faulty inherited belief system about time. Our ancestors didn't have these problems. Our ancestors didn't have some abstract relationship with time. Time to them wasn't a thing at all. They didn't feel that they didn't have enough time to do what they had to do. They didn't feel rushed. They didn't feel on a quieter, slower day that they were wasting time or they were bored or felt guilty for not using their time better. And that's for one simple reason. They didn't have clocks. <laughs> With the introduction of the clock and time becoming a commodity exchanged for money, there began our departure from what was a better relationship with time our ancestors had to the one we've had now for generations. And I want to talk to you more about that, about my relationship, our relationship with time, and three other areas that I'll be speaking about in my mentorship intensive online event coming up in June. I'd love you to be with me if you want any more about this and our relationship with ourselves and God and our calling. Uh, click the link in the bio, have a look, and uh, love you to join me in June for our mentorship intensive. It's going to be fantastic. Many already booked in, limited places. Jump in early if you want to know more about this and these other topics. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Hope to see you there. Cheers.